What's up, Hater Army? Welcome back to another video. You know, I want to react to what was one of the most incredible fights I've seen in recent times. Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury. You know, this was edge of the seat action and everyone was in awe of Tyson Fury's amazing comeback performance. He's had a couple of fights against washed up people, but this was the biggest contest for him in recent times where he could once again prove himself. And as soon as the bell rung, you know, Tyson Fury put on a masterclass, one of the best performances of his career. And Wilder was being outboxed on a whole other level. Um, He simply just didn't know how to handle... Tyson Fury's technical skill. Tyson Fury was confident, he was calm, collected, and he was very consistent up until uh, Fury was, you know, knocked down onto the canvas for the first time mid-fight, and nobody saw it coming, you know, it was really out of the blue, but that's what happens with Deontay Wilder. His punch is so powerful. Um, he you know, really lives up to his name Wilder because he does throw some wild, like, savage blows and they're not traditional, technically skilled boxing punches. But if he does manage to connect, then it does cause damage. The first knockdown, Fury managed to get up relatively fast and it didn't seem to phase him. He quickly got back into the zone and managed to perform at, you know, the same high level we had seen in the earlier rounds. And it, you know, according to my scorecard and people around me, you know, even the commentators, everyone was scoring this fight, you know, in Fury's favor, not by a little bit, but by a big majority. So Fury, you know, continued to outbox Wilder after that little hiccup with the knockdown. And all of a sudden, boom, 12th round, Wilder managed to, manages to hit a huge punch onto Fury, which rocks him, is sending him to the ground, halfway down to the ground before he hits the canvas. Wilder connects with one more crazy shot, and Fury slammed down to the mat extremely hard, extremely impactful. And at that moment, honestly, it looked like the fight was over. The referee, I was really disappointed. Uh, you know, he was very biased, I believe, because as soon as Fury had hit the mat, his count had started immediately, and he was all the way up to six, like way faster than I've ever seen a referee count. So, you know, I, I really feel like the referee was siding with Wilder. Anyways, Fury managed to get up. At the count of six, he just woke up and he snapped out of it. Um, honestly, it was the most amazing, amazing moment I've seen in recent times in boxing. Definitely an iconic, legendary moment, a career-defining moment. Honestly, that moment where Fury managed to get up out of the get up off the canvas will be remembered 50 years from now. It was just absolutely incredible thinking about it watching it still gives me the chills fury managed to get up and honestly he continued to bring the fight and i've never seen that before in a long time he managed to continue to outbox wilder for the rest of the round wilder seemed very tired very exhausted uh, at that moment in time anyways the fight came to a conclusion and, you know, the general consensus around myself and my brother, who's a boxer himself, you know, you know, amongst the boxing blogging community and commentators, fans all over the world, was that Tyson Fury was clearly the winner. Um, so, of course, the decision went to the judges and it was a split de decision ending in a draw which is very very unfortunate um i honestly believe that the judges that called it should be fired it was an absolutely pathetic judgment upon what was an incredible fight i've got a lot of respect for both fighters 
but I have zero respect for the judges. You know, Tyson Fury deserved to win that fight and it's a complete injustice. You know, I, I understand that the, the, the fight was on American soil. So for Fury to bring back the title to the United Kingdom, you know, he had to have secured a decisive, you know, one-sided, very dominant win. And I honestly believe he proved that throughout the 12 rounds. Um, you know, he he deserves a lot of credit for getting up off the canvas in the 12th round. You know, he pretty much outboxed Wilder the entire fight. And I believe he had won 9, 10, probably 10 rounds, I would say. So it's a complete injustice and it's a real shame um, to end the fight in a draw. You know, I really felt that Tyson Fury was robbed of this victory. You know, both men are still undefeated and I have a lot of respect for both fighters. You know, they embraced each other at the end of the fight and, you know, there's a, a mutual respect between the two, which is very admirable. Um, so... Obviously, there's unfinished business and there will be a rematch. We're not sure entirely when the rematch will happen, but I honestly hope this rematch happens in the UK. I really don't want a repeat of this poor decision. Um, we've witnessed it before with Canelo and Triple G. Don't get me started with that. Thinking about that decision still pisses me off. Um, so let's not go there. But I hope the rematch happens in the United Kingdom. Tyson Fury won this fight. I'm I'm very disappointed that the judges miscalled it. Like they got it so wrong. A couple people need to be fired. That's my opinion. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button. Until next time, peace and love.